recognize several families are here that came at great sacrifice, but they wanted to be here to be part of this because they understand the pain better than anyone because they've gone through the pain. And I think that we should recognize the mother of Trayvon Martin, will you stand? The mother, the mother of Eric Garner, will you stand? The sister of Botham John, will you stand? The family of Pamela Turner right here in Houston, will you stand? The father of Michael Brown from Ferguson, Missouri, will you stand? The father of Ahmed Aubrey, will you stand? We are fighting an institutional systemic problem that has been allowed to permeate since we were brought to these shores. And we are fighting wickedness in high places. When you can put your knee on a man's neck and hold it there eight minutes and 46 seconds, that's not even normal to a civilian less known to a police officer. Try when you go home to put your knee down on something and hold it there that long. You got to be full of a lot of venom, full of something that really motivates you until the law is upheld and people know they will go to jail, they are gonna keep doing it cause they are protected by wickedness in high places. Who taught these cops that they can do this to George was those that let the cops before this get away with this. And when they have the highest level of government that, uh, that excuses it, when some kids wrongly start violence, that this family don't condone and none of us do. The president talks about bringing in the military, but he not said one word about eight minutes and 46 seconds of police murder of George Floyd. Oh, he said, the family has my sympathy and all of this. He didn't give those on other situations a sympathy. He challenged China on human rights. Well, what about the human right of George Floyd? 